Hooray! I'm old! Oh wait, that's... that's not good. Still, because I'm old, I get to experience something you young whippersnappers can't. The joys of video game nostalgia. And believe me, when you get past 30, anything that reminds you of simpler times is more than welcome. This game here is called Downwell. It's not out yet, but I got to play a preview build and what really caught my attention were the ZX Spectrum style graphics. Downwell is a game about a little guy falling down a well, which kind of sounds pretty lame until you hear the great twist. And that is that Downwell Dude has gun boots. That's right, gun boots. Gun boots are cool. Due out this year on PC and mobile platforms, hence the long thin play area which is good for phones you see, vertical platformer Downwell is fast, furious and freaking hard. So far the gameplay seems simple, you drop ever deeper down a well, shooting at enemies with your gun boots as you fall. The recoil of the gun boots allows you slight control over your descent, but as soon as you run out of ammo you plummet like a stone. While you start off relatively weak, the gems you collect on your way down can be used to purchase extra ammo from shops while plenty of weapon upgrades like this badass laser can be found stashed away in side rooms or awarded at the end of stages. The best thing is, all the levels are procedurally generated, so each time you play you'll get a different but equally hardcore experience. Basically it's a bit like a vertical spelunky, but with gun boots. Gun boots. While the basic gameplay of Downwell could easily have been achieved on a ZX Spectrum, the speed of the action and this type of procedural level generation probably couldn't, and I really like that the developer has taken this classic graphical styling and added modern gameplay concepts to the mix. Indie developers are all over games with NES or Super Nintendo inspired graphics like a rash, but modern games that pay tribute to the specy are few and far between. Thankfully there are a couple more out there that nostalgia seekers like myself can play right now on modern platforms. I am level, so called because you take control of the actual level rather than the main character, is a game for the iPhone that looks like a game from the past but uses controls from the future. Or at least controls from the present that would have looked futuristic in the past? Where am I? Using the iPhone's gyroscope you can tilt the world and roll your character past hazards and onto springs or flippers which are activated by a tap of the screen. There's a levelling system and unlockable costumes in there to keep modern gamers happy, while for nostalgia nerds it's got a great Manic Miner style flip screen thing going for it and a whole host of bonkers Brit humour bad guys like teapots and buckets of water. All very Monty Mole. Crucially though, the motion controls work really well, managing your momentum feels really natural and the puzzles are perfectly balanced so the game is challenging but never frustrating. I am impressed. The biggest love letter to Spectrum Gaming on a modern system though has to be Rock Bosch's DX for the PlayStation 4 and the PlayStation Vita. Rock Boshers recreates the look and feel of 128k games almost perfectly, from the tiny pixelated sprites down to the music and sound effects. In fact, the only thing it doesn't replicate well is the specky colour clash. The core game is a basic top-down twin-stick shooter with some puzzle elements thrown in, but it's elevated above mediocre thanks in part to the typically British humour, whereby your character, a young Queen Victoria, has to collect jammy scones, tea and cheddar as she tries to escape from a Martian mine. I'm not sure that anyone without prior knowledge of older game systems would enjoy rock boshes as much as someone who experienced them first hand would, and they definitely wouldn't get all the sly nods to games gone by. Controlling the small sprites can often get confusing and I'm sure younger gamers will find the graphics off-putting rather than charming, but still for me the ability to play a specker-like game on the PlayStation Vita is a wonderful rarity. 
Whether the retro spectrum look is a purely stylistic choice or implemented due to the restraints of tiny development teams, the fact is this look is iconic to anyone who lived during the days of your Sinclair or Crash magazines. These games fire the nostalgia zones of my brain and help me relive some of my gaming youth, and because of this I would love to see more modern games rocking this aesthetic. Although I'm not sure if that means I'm a boring old fart or just some kind of wannabe hipster. I mean, I do have a beard, but my trousers, they just aren't tight enough for me to go full hipster. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching Spec Chums, and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Goodbye. We've got eight minutes left, oh my God, eight minutes left. What am I gonna do with my final eight minutes? Let's release a Chinese lantern into the sky. For all our memories, PlayStation Home. Oh, I can I can see right up my nose. Oh, oh my God, that's kind of sad.